Hey guys, I wanted to show you something historic happening here in the North Atlantic Ocean as two bomb cyclones are starting to merge together. There's one near and targeting Iceland, and then there's another one out here as well, and it's going to merge into this thing. So that's what I'm gonna talk about in this video. We're gonna show you what the models say and what the forecast track of this thing is. Before we begin, if you like daily forecast updates like this, extreme weather event breakdowns, much more detailed than you would see on TV, click the subscribe button below. All right, so let's get into this thing. You can see this historic low pressure system up here. It's a top five storm in recorded history in the North Atlantic. The tail extends all the way down to Florida of the United States. And obviously the northern part is running into Greenland. But there's a second low out here. Let's go over to Windy TV and really look at this thing in more detail. So something fascinating is going to be happening here called the Fujiwara effect. These are when two different storms merge together. You see this low pressure system over here near Iceland. This is the dominant storm. This is the big one. There's a uh, still a very, very strong storm out here. But what's going to happen is this storm right here, the dominant one, is going to swallow this one up. This thing's going to rotate around it like a gear. And then this one's going to swallow it up, and they're going to be merging together. Now, we've already had down here in uh, Ireland, you know, you're talking 30, 40 foot waves down in Ireland, obviously near the storm, 100 foot waves. And then obviously Norway is going to be getting a lot of rain with this thing. But how bad will this be? We'll track it forward here. Now watch this effect happen. You can see, and we'll zoom in just a bit. You can see that low pressure system merging with the main one right here. And this thing really deepens. Would not be surprised to see it go down to the 915 millibar range, which would be a top five storm in recorded history in the North Atlantic. As we get towards Monday here, you can see it goes onshore to Norway. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you later into the mid next week here in a second, because another one of these could occur, maybe not as strong, but another Fujiwara effect. We'll play that one more time. You can see these two things merging together. There's the main low, and then there's a second one that's starting to be kind of merging into it. I think that's when the storm will be the strongest near and south of Iceland, maybe 924 millibar. In terms of wind, let's look at that. I mean, the winds are that of a hurricane. If you look at the winds here, We'll turn on the wind. This is Windy TV, so anyone can actually go and check this out and track this along with me. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn on wind, and I believe that's already on. So what we're looking at here is winds of you know 40, 60 miles an hour, very close to Ireland, and then maybe even Norway as we track it into Sunday and Monday here. You know, just off the coast of Norway, we could be dealing with 40, 50, 60 mile an hour gusts. I mean, this thing, you know, go back a little bit. Um, you know, a day or so ago, and you can see the wind speeds of this thing were much above 60 miles an hour. In fact, wind gusts, we'll turn those on, I believe wind gusts were darn near, you know, 100 miles an hour in some areas. So very, very windy. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go up to the jet stream. I'll show you what's kind of going on here with this thing. You can see this insanely powerful jet stream. Now, what I'm going to do is turn on the uh, upper level heights, the geopotential heights. This is showing you your jet stream now. And here's the low in the upper levels, okay? The lows in the upper levels will vary just a bit. It's a little bit farther off to the northwest. But the low at the surface, the main show that's bringing all the winds, going to kind of uh, occur where this jet stream is stretch stretching out. You can see how it's stretching out right here. Winds are flowing this way, and the winds are flowing this way. You also have some stretching up here from an exit exiting part of a jet to the north if you want to you can go up here and you can see that there's another one and it's kind of stretching out up there so all of this stretching is occurring out here in the atlantic ocean and in the north atlantic near iceland and greenland what's essentially happening is the atmosphere in the upper levels is ripping the air apart in the upper levels so the jet stream is ripping it apart and air at the surface is filling in Okay, so that's what's kind of happening. And so earth, the uh, since air is ripping at the upper levels, you have to get air to replace it. And so it's getting lifted at the surface. So essentially it's like a vortex, a whirlpool in the uh, the uh, ocean here. And it's, it's getting sucked up into the atmosphere. And that's why you get those powerful low pressure systems. And you can see how it tracks into parts of Europe as we get towards Sunday and Monday. Uh, so this is just uh, pretty incredible. Now, in terms of rainfall amounts with this particular thing, we'll check that out here in a second. What I'm going to do is do rain accumulation. And 
we're going to go over the next uh, five or so days here, and we're going to look at some of these areas here. Iceland, obviously, you've got uh, rainfall amounts. You know, and this is uh, in feet, by the way. So the yellow areas, potentially 6 to 12 inches or so of rain. Now you go out to Norway, the eastern part of Norway, or, yeah, the western part, excuse me, you're talking potentially one to three feet of rain, particularly along the coast. So lots of rain out there. Obviously, uh, you know, as you go towards Ireland and the UK as well, several inches of rain with this type of event. But, uh, yeah, like Norway, like I said, you know, maybe a foot or more rain in some of those areas. In terms of the uh, wind, or excuse me, the waves, uh, we can actually look at the waves. This is also unprecedented. Uh, we'll go back just a bit. Now, I use uh, other maps usually, but this Windy TV is good for this example because this thing is sitting in the North Atlantic, which is hard to find with other weather model maps. Now, as you look at this, your waves are uh, approaching in some areas. They're off the charts. I mean, obviously, this goes up to about 30 feet, but really some of these areas here, right in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, you're seeing 50 to 100 foot waves, so several stories high. It's a very, very large tree, if you can imagine that. So this is hurricane force, essentially, uh, waves. But as we get towards uh, you know, Monday here, this really is going to, Sunday into Monday, obviously around now, is really picking up towards Ireland and Norway. And Ireland, just off the coast, you could be dealing with 30, 40 foot waves or more. Uh, but obviously that's mostly off the coast or just near it. And then obviously Norway too, as we get towards Monday or so, when that low pressure system moves up. Uh, Norway won't be as strong. It's going to be more of a rain of threat up there, but uh, still, uh, you know, 15 foot waves or so, 20 foot waves, 30 foot waves. And then as we look at the rain and thunder on this thing, so this is going to be actually the, what it's looking like. Now we're going to go back a, uh, a day or so, and you can see Friday into Saturday here, a day or so ago, you can see, uh, let's zoom in, you can see those two low pressure systems, snow all on the backside of this thing, rain out ahead of it. So these are snow crystals, and then out ahead of it is your rain and precipitation. But you can see kind of everywhere where it's snowing. So even some uh, snow up here in Iceland, there's been blizzard conditions, you know, 60 mile an hour winds, 70 mile an hour winds of snow. You know, Saturday night, Sunday, this, I mean, this is uh, pretty incredible, and it's actually showing a little bit of snow here for Norway with this type of system. Uh, so as we get towards Monday and beyond, and then it starts to really die out after that. Now, one other thing I wanted to show you is uh, the potential next week for another one of these to occur. What we're going to do is we're going to turn the winds real quick, the uh, go wind gusts, and uh, what I'm going to do is show you Tuesday into Wednesday. We're going to turn on the pressure again. And we're going to go to the surface. And what you're going to see here on Tuesday and Wednesday, let's play this forward, is another two low pressure system ordeal. So the Fujiwara effect happening again. Here's one right here. Here's one right here. Now watch these two merge as we get towards Tuesday into Wednesday and uh, Wednesday evening. You can see this one's getting sucked in. Wind speeds up here, probably over 100 miles an hour again. And the North Atlantic, that's gonna move into Iceland. So another major storm for parts of Iceland and uh, parts of Norway as we get towards the middle of the week, Wednesday and Thursday. Obviously, we'll make another video for that if that looks to be the case. As the weather down in the US here has been really quiet. So I've just kind of been looking at some storms over out in the Atlantic for fun here because these are some historic events. Now, if you haven't seen my 10-year radar time lapse, check that out for the U.S. I'll be making more of these videos. Subscribe below. Share this with a friend. Hope you enjoy your weather. Stay safe out there, and we'll see you soon.